It's Isabel here from County Youth Library again and today I'm going to be doing a Halloween bat. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make this. What I have here is an A4 piece of card but to be honest what you really need is an A4 piece of black paper. The cards are a wee bit on the thick side but it's all I could get so uh, I've got an A4 piece of card. Now what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to fold it just like you do a fan like we've done in some of our other crafts. And this takes a wee while. But it's worth persevering with it. Okay, you'll get there in the end with it. Keep going. Back and forward, back and forwards. And try and keep them all the same size. It's not always easy, but try. Okay. It's much easier with a piece of paper than it is with a piece of card, I have to say. What you really need is two A4 pieces of black card. You can make this out of any colour though, but just for it being Halloween, I thought I'd do it in black, okay? And here's our wee witches again, like they made earlier. Can you see them? Like that. And the spiders are here too. Now it's the bat. So I'm keeping going. Takes a wee while, as I said. Give it a good squash down. It's not so bad if it's a piece of paper. It squeezes really easy, so you get a nice line in it. But when it's card, it's harder to do. Right. Now that's it all folded. And it's just like a fan. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to tie it in the middle. I don't have any black wool, so I'm just going to use what I've got, and that's great. Pull it tight, put your finger on the top or your thumb on the top and hold the knot at the end, and then redo another one. Okay, pull it through. Okay, there you go. I'll show you what we'll do with that later, I'll ignore it now. But what I want to do is make sure this is in the middle so it's all the same size. So I take it up to the other end and I push it down together. Okay, like that. Okay, and what I need to do now is actually put glue on here and glue on here to start with. Here's our glue. Let's squeeze these together. What I've done now is I've pulled the two corners to our two sides together and glued them. Okay, ignore this because this is going to be the bad side and we'll cut it off. Okay, so you'll end up with a round circle which is all folded. And what I'm going to need to do now is make two wings. I've taken another piece of black card. Okay. And I've drawn a wing shape on it, okay? What you want to do is have all these lines on it that go up and down so that when you cut it, let's see, it's like semi-circles you've got on it. What I've done is I've folded my paper in half here so that I actually don't need to cut it too individually and when I cut them out they'll both look the same because it's one piece of card just folded in half. It's much easier to cut out one than it is two, especially when you're trying to get them to, get, to look the same. Now, what we'll do now, there's your, your wing, but you've actually got two. So what we'll have to do is just cut it in the middle. That's how we we'll like and see if that fits like that. No, we really need to cut it in the middle so we could put it further out. Okay. So what we would do with that is we glue it on like this here and one here. And I'll just do that now. Give it a good push down. Bent on my folds. So that's the problem with this. I'll just leave it sitting there just now because and I'll let you see it in a minute when it's set. Okay, so what I need to do now is make two eyes 
and a pair of fangs, which is a, which are the teeth. So I've drawn round a circle. I actually drew round my, my cutter for my cake. And I drew round it to give me a circle. I'm going to fold it in half. Again, I do it this way because it makes it easier to do. So I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to take a black pen. Okay. And roughly in the middle, I'm going to draw what looks like a wee bow, but it's got a wee curve on it. Can you see that? And I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Up that line. And I'm going to stick it down. And you don't stick them that way. You stick them at an angle. So you end up with something that looks like that. Okay. What I need now is a set of fangs. And I'm going to cut a triangle Look, my triangle has a flat top on it can you see and what I'm going to do is take the corner from here and work it towards the middle not all the way up though and the same here and that's your fan okay there we go along the top and now be careful with this because it's easily torn because you've only got that wee space in the middle that's uh, joined together so be careful when you're gluing it that you don't pull it off all together now that's your fangs on just like this now I've got to go back and put these wings on and there's your bat okay thank you for watching this is your Halloween bat from Isabel. Speak to you soon. Bye.